This is the rumor report with Angela Yee on the Breakfast Club. <laughs> Well, Janet Jackson is getting a two-night documentary event, and that is going to be on Lifetime and A&E. That should be really, really dope. I can't wait to see that. They said this filming on Janet has been underway for three years. It's going to follow Janet as her family is going through the loss of her father, who was the patriarch of the Jackson dynasty. He passed in 2018. She got... The, uh, she gave the producers exclusive access to archival footage and never before seen home videos. I know Lifetime and A&E are under the same umbrella, but I just feel like a Janet, a Janet Jackson doc seemed like it should be bigger than that. Yeah, I think so too. I, well, it's a two-night, four-hour documentary event, so I'm excited to see it. Two-night, four-hour documentary. Yeah, I mean, listen, I'm, I'm all, I'm, I'm here for that. I just, I don't know. I feel like it should be bigger, but whatever. I'm gonna watch. All right. In addition to that, Janet, let's talk about Janet that was on The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Now, she recently did an interview with Chris Witherspoon's Pop Viewers, and she shared that she considered taking her life after exiting from The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Here's what she had to say. So I not only had a house, a mortgage, a husband who wasn't working at the time, but I also had a business and a baby, an infant who needed me desperately. He saved me my son, because I knew I had to take care of that little boy. And Fresh Prince had not gone into syndication yet. It was hard. There were moments where I felt so broken. There were moments where I wanted to die. Did you ever contemplate suicide? Absolutely. You know, I I saw that yesterday, and I saw folks uh, in the comments telling her to move on, telling her to get over it. That's not how trauma works, people. All right, healing is not, not at a, all. Healing's not a linear process. You could be fine in some cases, and then something triggers you, you know, years down the line, months down the line, and you have to let it go all over again. So let that woman vent, man. Plus, I feel like for so long, nobody was even bothering to listen. That's very true. Mm-hmm. And just recently, even Will Smith had to sit down with her, so I'm sure that brought her some type of, okay. For the moment. You know, and... Yeah, for the moment, but I'm sure that also renewed people being like, okay, maybe this is something we should pay attention to now because they really weren't before. Yeah. All right, now, Tiger Woods, the search warrant of his car is based on possible evidence of reckless driving. They did get a a search warrant to get the black box that's in the vehicle. A judge believed there is probable cause that a crime may have been committed, and they said the possible offense is misdemeanor reckless driving. There's a black box in cars, too? I guess the newer cars. My my dad, I asked my dad that yesterday. I didn't know that, but he was like, yeah, in certain cars, it'll tell you how aggressive you drive, if you aggressively, you know, accelerate, aggressively brake, or how fast that you're going, you know, I, if you... Yeah, I do remember hearing something like that, because they, they can tell, like, if you get into an accident and you was texting, they can tell if you was texting beforehand. I thought they were just looking at your phone to see that you let a tweet fire off. No, I don't think they could see if you're texting, but I'm sure they got to look on your phone to see if the accident happened the same time you were texting. Your car can't tell you, hey, he's texting right now, unless you're you know, connected to Bluetooth or something. I don't know, bro. Them new cars are different. Them cars, right. remember, remember, remember how Knight Rider used to seem so advanced? Now Kit seem like a goddamn go-kart. <laughs> Although no, turbo boost cars. can't happen right now, right? She. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you could turbo boost she. right now. You can jump over things? She. Well, no, you can't jump over things, but you could, they got cars with all types of turbo in it and I'm all types of crazy stuff. I'm trying to tell you. I don't know, bro. I ain't well, they do have cars it. that dry themselves like Kit used to do. That's right. Yes, they do. And talk. All right, now Mariah Carey's brother is now suing her for defamation. That's over claims that were made in her memoir. He says that his reputation was damaged when Mariah wrote of an alleged fight that he had with his father and that she hinted that he was violent towards their mother. And he also highlighted a passage in the book that says it took 12 cops to pull my brother and father apart. The big bodies of men all entangled like a swirling hurricane crashed loudly into the living room. I was a little girl with very few memories of a big brother who protected me more often. I felt I had to protect myself from him. And sometimes I would find myself protecting my mother from him, too. Yeah, I don't know if your reputation was damaged, sir. Uh, But if it makes you feel any better, I didn't even know Mariah Carey had a brother until just now. Yeah, me neither. Didn't even hear about this. I'm hearing so many of of brothers and sisters suing their brother, suing their parents. I I, I can I could never imagine. Maybe because I'm an only child, but I couldn't sue my brother. Well, you you guys got brothers and sisters. You think your brother would sue you or sister would sue you? Yeah, especially if you ain't never if you ain't never gave him nothing. If you ain't (laughs) you know what I'm saying? If you ain't never kicked no money out to them, or if you did kick out some money and they don't feel like it was enough, but they see you out here balling. 
Of course they would. Damn. Well, according to Mariah's estranged brother Morgan, he says that that made him sound like a violent person. He said he never fought with his dad when Mariah was a kid, and there's no way a dozen cops would be handling a domestic violence situation anyway. In addition for damages for defamation, he's also suing for intentional infliction of emotional distress. I'm... Now, you know her sister's also suing her she for that same memoir. She got a sister, memoir. too? <laughs> yeah, Allison. <laughs> Mariah seemed like an only child. I got to read this book. <laughs> So now her sister, and this happened, you know, a couple months ago, but she's seeking $1.25 million in damages for the infliction wow. of immense emotional distress caused by defendants' heartless, vicious, vindictive, despicable, and totally unnecessary public humiliation of a defendant's already profoundly damaged older sister. You, you could sue for that? Defamation. I'm suing Charlemagne because he does all that that you said in that whole little sentence he does to me. It's crazy, well, according though. to Mariah Carey, uh, she, in her book, she said that her sister drugged her, put her in vulnerable situations with older men, and threw boiling hot tea on her when she was only 12 years old. Jesus Jeez. Christ. Jesus. Lord have mercy. And she did accuse her of se attempted sex trafficking as well, and her sister, Allison, is eight years older than her. Mariah <laughs> said all that in her book? Mm-hmm. I'm going to go read this book. Yeah, I think I need to read the book. <laughs> All right, well, that is your rumor report. I did not know she had siblings, though. You can't I mean, tell me either. Mariah don't act like a holy child. Yeah, I mean, she does. Yeah, well, Oops. she's estranged from them, so I don't think she's very close with them, clearly. I was a Debbie Downer, you. Damn. Oh, All right. I get it. Well, you're, you're going to get the book. Yeah, just because you're family don't mean that you're family. You know what I'm saying? Like, like it's not always about blood. Like, sometimes this is about principles and energy and spirit. You know, if your principles <laughs> and energy and spirit don't align with a person, even if that's your blood, hey, man, it is what it is. I ain't going to front. I love being You can choose your family. They always say you can choose your friends, but you can't choose your family. That's, that's a fact. Mm. All right. Well, we got front pages when we come back. What are we talking about? New York Governor Andrew Cuomo says he is not planning to resign, even though some people are calling for him to resign, and he has answered these allegations from women who are accusing him of sexual harassment. All right, we'll get to that next. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. <laughs> 